Welcome everyone. Today we have a Dota Underlord game which will try to win on the first round. You often see me trying to lose on the first round. Why am I trying to win? Is I don't need any units here. And if I do win on the first round, I can sell everything for additional gold. <laughs> it's just more economy. I don't know if I win on the first round. So Epstein, unfortunately, I don't know how to disable the 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 disabler for what you call it. Oh no, we don't win on the first round. I don't know how to enable leaks on the channel. I disabled it, but I don't know how to enable it anymore. So if you can, could you send me the link on Discord? I think that's the best way for me to for me to look at the link and get back to you. Now we're going for oh, still going for armies. I'm going for six warriors and four scaled here. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yeah, just my my fault. I disabled it a long time ago. Now I can't find the commands to get it back. Well now, we're not going to use that. I lost the first round, we're going to keep losing. Six warriors and four scaled. Isn't that fancy? The effect with six warriors and four scaled is actually a big... Oh, thank you buddy. Thank you, thank you so much for the subscribe my friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Hey there, Joe. Zenik, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub buddy. Thank you, thank you so much for your support. So I was saying with 6 warriors and 4 scaled, you really want the Slark to be 2 star early. You want at least 1 mask of manners, because Troll Wallet and Slark wants that. 2 mask is really good as well. You also really want to be high level. You need to be level 9 to make this build work. Even at level 10 at times, because level 10 gives you the Warlock as well. And it has to be Witch Doctor. And Echo Frozen, I feel. Oof, really shot on gold. Could have taken a Shadow Demon there, I reckon. Yeah, Shadow Demon would have been okay. I'm running a losing streak, and currently we lost twice on 95 HP. It's not bad, not the best. Ooh, I, think I can feel bites. There's like a mosquito biting me. Now, Jiro says. Been meaning to subscribe. Love your builds on YouTube and I learned a lot to small things through your videos. You're welcome and thank you for supporting me. I'm so glad you find you know the tips and things helpful as well. <laughs> now, goodness. Hey there, buddy. So good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Nice shirt. Yeah, it's a little t shirt. I also have a little purple like singlet underneath, but it's too awkward looking. <laughs> so I had the t shirt on top of it. <laughs> also, buckled up. <laughs> so you don't see the t shirt. We're gonna sell one to make to 10 gold. And I'm not gonna free roll because we didn't get any free roll. We draw it here. We draw it with a losing streak player, which. Oh, it's no no. Oh, damn. We could have went for a win streak, don't know. <laughs> don't know is actually going for a losing streak too. Is full scale ever good? Not really, to be honest. Full scale is never good unless you have like really combos for it. I think this is the only combo full scale will be good. Simply because Slack, Medusa, Tidehunt is really good. And the slider is a part of the warriors. This is the only combo I can think of to go for scaled without needing of you know too many mage players. We'll be invulnerable to physical and magical damage unless the enemy have single target damage like hunters. <laughs> then we do nothing about that. Hunters avoid will destroy us. Ooh, this is nice, but I don't get anything out of it though. I'll still take it. Task can use it. The pike is not bad, and later if we get a unit with lots of kills, it can be really good. As for now, we shock this gone because you know we need the money. Too poor. Listen, we shock there. We just need a two-star. We shock there. I don't think I face Dono again. Finally, a chance. I'm getting some units done because I want to lose a little less HP. Oh, this may be bad. I'm actually gonna win here. Oh no. Ah, that's really greedy. I forgot it's a disconnect player. I was looking on bottom, I didn't see here. So we're definitely gonna win. For the fact we have warriors and we have a slaughter with armor. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> hey there, KR. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for joining me. Yes, stay safe, my friend. Yeah, this is bad. Ah, I should not have won here. I needed to lose. That's so greedy of me. Big punishment. I'm full of surprise. 
Hát ide menjünk kettő csak te. Uff, losing my... <laughs> losing my coup there. I should not have bought him, because he wouldn't do anything first. And buying him actually takes me under 28. Which is really annoying. I'm gonna sell one of the warrior here. Yeah, that was a mistake. Pretty big mistake. Because we won't get the free rows. I'm not saying we need the free row that badly, but we need the two stars pretty badly. <laughs> it's, uh, it's so greedy of me. So if you're running a losing streak, never put too strong of a set of units. The Warriors, three of the Warriors is actually pretty strong. Especially when players, you know, I think he AFK'd and he never had a strong enough team to come out against me. And I didn't notice that. If you're putting down units, make sure you put down weaker units. That's what I mean. Not the biggest luster. I'll kill the first. first. Spray roll. Two starters good. Uh, get the start in. And right now there's not a big need for me to keep up the losing streak. So we're just gonna play actually normally. If the slider gets the kills, we're happy. If he doesn't, it's okay. So, what Kerb said? <laughs> hey there, CH. Welcome, buddy. Do you think Lifesteal is good in Warrior Camp to chair armor? I still believe chair armor is still the best one. It's that the the armor actually scales up pretty much linearly. And although, you know, we have lots of armor, it doesn't hurt to have more armor. For lifesteal, you need a lot of damage or good attack speed. I think starter 2 star is the only one I think I'll go with lifesteal. Because he's actually pretty good with those. Have up again. Uh, Shadow Demon, Tiny Wish Doctor. We'll get some backlines. So now that I actually lost my losing streak, I'm going to change my strategies. I'm going to try to go for a win streak if I can. Having the 2 star starter and another 2 star would really help us. Hey there, Firefly. Welcome, buddy. Long time YouTube viewer here. You're watching from Dotted Auto Chairs. Oh, thank you so much, buddy. Long time support as well. Thank you, thank you. Glad to have you join us. This is a strong player. Very strong. <laughs> what do you see? Hey, is that flux? Steady flux is oh, two. Oh, he's got a launcher too. Come on now. <laughs> that isn't fair. <laughs> too strong. No, we don't go for Amulet here. Not the best item first. Uh, those are not going to. I don't need target buddy because, you know. I'll go for mana boots. Mana boots is okay. It's like a item that works with everything. Let's go. Now we save the free rolls. What I will do is now can you see? Yeah. There you go. I was gonna save the free roll and level up to six, then use the free roll. But the downside is I lose too much value on the two stars that's potentially found with low tier units. We're sitting on 35% low tier, tier 1, and if we level up, we lose 10% of that. <laughs> but just don't need tank. We can beat half the players right now, the other half we can't beat. With Shadow Demon, we might be too able to beat more though. Only thing is I'm training my starter. He's like a Pokemon, that I will be training him into a super strong one punch man. Starter has really good base damage and decent attack speed. So, because we'll keep him for the full scale, we're gonna take him for a long time. Any tips and tricks for duo underlords? Been play a lot with friends, we can't seem to rank up beyond Big Boss 2. Ooh, Big Boss 2 is a very good already, I have to say. We'll go for the healing support. Since, you know, we want backlines and we also want the these healings he gets for the warriors. Patch is good. Oh, I should have leveled up. I ain't got no time now. <laughs> I should have leveled up first, then buy the patch. After the round starts, because now I don't have the goal to level up. Without losing my interest. Now for duos, I can't give you any particular advice because I haven't practiced in it enough. But I feel like having your friend sending your units and finding some crucial 3 stars or 2 stars may be a very good way to do it. Oh gosh, why are they hitting Anazix? Are they Vigilance, right? <laughs> I was like, why are they hitting NN6? What did she do? She summoned the skeleton at the start. She summoned the unit. Oh, she destroyed me here. <laughs> Annihilated. <laughs> Have you tried Poison Cup? No, I haven't actually. Sounds pretty good actually. 
I need to figure out how to do it, then we'll give it a try. Yeah, NS6 is going to the back line. NS6 summoned a little like archer and the the desolator archers just killed her. Desolator archers, yeah. Desolator vision and archers. That's what they are. Damn you. Get the tiny. Much better than Tusk. Could have taken the Dazzle too, actually. I want him. Mm, let's go for free roll. Ooh, very lovely. With Shock there? Yes, we're definitely keeping with Shock there. Don't think I need a Tusk. Because another front line won't do much for us. Because we'll have really good front lines now. Hey there, coffee buddy. Welcome. Now, just having some range units that's more casting may be even better for us. Good toss. <laughs> Tiny had one job. Sada, minus armor him. Oh, minus 24, look at that. Sada is a monster. One punch. No, it is a long druid. <laughs> Get the bears away from him. Bear minus 34, look at that. Sada is so durable. Sada did so much work here with the minus armor first. Signed 10 kills. Now I used to be a king player in DAC. I love Underlord the fact they added the option you play with friends to the game so much more enjoyable. I agree. Having duos makes the game, you know, into the next level. I've had viewers who are couples or who are like playing with friends consistently. It's really fun for them. And yes, Coffee War, haven't been able to stream for a while due to you know, real life things and also just being a little too busy on my schedule lately. I really want to fix that, and hopefully I can very soon. Now we found our first set of skills. <laughs> Fun enough, those are two stacks. And four four combos are coming. I actually What I'm gonna say is I don't think we shocked the all stack. I need a two star. Two star will be better than the Wish of course. So I'm waiting for a two star. One star Wish Octa might be better than a Stark. Just because he stuns and Stark just jumps and does nothing. Okay, and a 6 survive. I need that golem. I need that golem, girl. Good golem. And he's got one one stun. That you should be okay. Yeah, we should be okay. Tess says, yeah, I haven't played a single since Duo came out. Oh, lovely, Tess. <laughs> yeah, copy. I have the same thing. Oh, I don't have a consistent friend that wants to play. I have friends in my house who are sharing the house with me, but they don't want to play Underlord too much because <laughs> they have other games they're interested in. And because of that, I'm more into singles. But that's good to have variety. Having, you know, the fast mode with knockout, having duos, is really good for us. Ooh, this is the one we want. This is absolutely the one we want. And now, <laughs> before I was like, there's no reason to have the slack now. Now there's absolutely a reason to. Tusk will be in the back line. Very lovely. And... That's what might also be okay. We'll level up after. Yeah, big, big pick up with items. Team fights are huge. Yeah, with duels, you send each other units, and it's so rewarding to find those early game units with team fight, with you know the cooperation. That's what I mean. Hey there, Putu. Welcome, buddy. I've got two stag and one master menace. I believe the game really wants us to play full scale here. Baby Slack is going to be Super Saiyan once he gets over a thousand damage, but he won't get there for a long time because he's only one star. <laughs> Look at him go, 300. Can he beat KS9? He can. Okay, he did. The Slack with this arm is actually really underwhelming, but it's actually underrated, not underwhelming, because unit can't attack for three seconds every time Slack jumps, and that's really good for him to win this one. What, I'm, what build am I going with? I'm going with 6 warriors and 4 scaled. Oh, I should get some water after. What do I need? I don't think I need any of that. I should level up. This is the edge I was looking for. I've got the Wish Shock in. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use Tidehunter and Medusa for the final 2 scaled. And we're going to go with Trollot for the 6 warriors. It's gonna be a fun one. Do it disarm. Yeah, it's like one star is not very threatening. Two star is where he really shines. And we're really close. It's surprising we find this many slacks this early. 
<laughs> Look at his damage. Still top number one on one, on one star. He's not jumping though. There you go. I only need two trolls to give us attack speed. I don't think I need the Dazzle. Shadow Shaman is also optional. I want to find the Troll Wallet. So going for level 8 will be a big factor for us. So that's the build last time. Yes, that's the build I wanted to do. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's exactly the build I went last time. But I didn't know where I was going last time. This time I have more of a direction. Got the Titan in. And... <laughs> got another Titan in. Double tight. <laughs> so, three scale now. Yeah, let's look at Patches this game. Mm, actually, no Patch, right? And no Patches. That's good. With this a Patch, you don't want NS6 to be hooked. You want something else to take the hook, actually. Starter's on 13 kills. Starter's gonna keep that pike, actually. Hate your soap is a task. He's too forward, and this makes him too susceptible to death. Stark already died, so we're out of damage. He's also Warlock. <laughs> it's gonna out heal us. Can we kill one more? We can't even kill that Mr. Warlock. Oh no. We still have a solid chunk of HP to go through. So we'll probably lose like 15 here, to be honest. It's okay. Damn, we lost 14. The free roll will be nice because we really want the slack. Other than that, we might get a tide as well. Uh, patch, patch, patch. Mm, yeah, let's, let's have a look. I don't think we'll go for a 3 star patch. Let's swap those two. Too many Tide Hunters. I'm just saving my powers. Once we get level 8, we'll roll a bit. Once we get to level 9, we'll roll more. We'll be level 8 soon. Very soon, actually. Slack not dying and Slack dying is a big factor for almost every part of this gameplay unless we get troll a lot and Medusa. Because right now we don't do enough damage. With Slack dying, we just lose all the damage. If Slater also dies, we're out of everything. Slater amplifies enemy's damage taken and also he's got a chunk of damage. <laughs> Baby Slack's still going for it. Look at him go. Over 400 now. Need to end this round, then we can level up. Why am I leveling up? Is because level 8 give us Troll Warlord, Medusa, ooh, and there's a mask, perfect. So we have the most crucial items <laughs> for this game. Which is Mask of Madness with Troll Warlord. Oh boy, <laughs> double mask slug. Hey, we shocked there. Are we shocked there? Yeah, we shocked there. Oh, then we shocked the stays. <laughs> slug at the duos. I'll get them to jump different targets if I can. I'll take the Juggernaut just because it might be better to have six warriors quickly, and we're very close on that. Probably won't use the Shadow Shaman. They don't think they're gonna win, oh, the two back lines. Let's see if we catch them. Double stuck, double disarm. Oh no, the Luna came back. No, no. Oh, look at it. No, he got stunned. <laughs> Took an arrow to the head, <laughs> arrow to the knee here. Having warriors to bait is really good. <laughs> it's the stun practice target. <laughs> Poor baby Stark. He still survived longer than the other one, actually. Look at Stark's go. Uh, let's go for a level up. And now, I can use another 2 star. Yes. Yay, another 2 star. How did I know? I'll lose the Shadow Shaman here. Now, of course, I can have six warriors in, but what I do lose is I lose a two star, I lose my double slack if I get a six warriors. Which is not that worth it for me, I feel. This is the solid front line with a ton of damage. We have back lines for damage, we pretty much have everything. Until we get the troll wall out there. Uh, what's your rank? I'm currently big boss 4, I believe. I have not played much rank game since, you know, the patch started. And. Um, the fact is, I want to play fun builds. Having ranked games really counteracts that. And if you play fun builds, you can't win. If you don't play fun builds, you repeat the same builds over and over. Now yeah, we can't deal with him. <laughs> Too much damage right now. Don't know, so strong. <laughs> Not my HP, don't know. Nah, no, 15. 
I'm still in the middle of the pack, and I need and there's a five rounds to make it. I'll probably roll a little bit. I do really want to roll level nine. Don't need that. Perfect. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, stock is nice, but not enough. Okay, now we go up a level. Absolutely. Having the Titan Hunter means, you know, everything's great. <laughs> and why do you meet Duna all the time? I'm not sure as well. Duna just happens to go up with all the time. <laughs> we find him very often when we play. Titan Hunter! Oh no! That early stun. It's really annoying. It's a heartless hunter insect. <laughs> a very common one, but very deadly if you can't tank them with the frontline. We have warriors as frontline. Also have a bit of disarm. So we managed to do enough damage to his backline, I hope. Let's see if we can. Shadow Demon. Oh my gosh, so close. No, we couldn't kill the Beastmaster. <laughs> the person I'm my says in. Take the uh, spirit onto the bob. 36, 36, look at that. Uh, let's go up a level. If I'm rolling, I want to be as high level as I can. I will bring light spire back nope. to glory. Don't have those. Unfortunate. I think this may be worth it. I have two masks here, I know. <laughs> I should probably lose one of the starters and get a slack in. <laughs> two masks on the slugs. <laughs> who is just sitting on the bench? I think six warriors might help us a little more. Because the slugs are one star who are jumping in is not a good idea. Hoping the damage from the starters and you know everything else is not fair. Hold on! <laughs> so much armor on everyone. Punch? No, it has to no punch. We shocked it though, we shocked it once to find the troll our friend. The reason I leveled up first is also to find the troll out if I can. Oh, Medusa. Oh my. So, we did eliminate boss here, and seven of us. The hunter is going to be a big concern. Hey there, Ashen. Welcome, buddy. Refresh your tide. Beautiful. Armored Punch. Come on, find us a slug. We found so many slug at the start. Now I can't find the last one. Give us a slug. You just have to ask. Ask and you shall receive this, eh? Perfect. Uh, this looks pretty good. We we'll just need a troll wallet. <laughs> to give us a troll wallet is gonna be very tricky, you see. Half of the time game never give you a troll wallet, other half you just get so many of them when you don't need them. The yeah, troller will be perfect, and also the necrophos will be better here. Tide! <laughs> Don't look at the balloon tide! It's not your friend! Oh no, Stack is in trouble. A 3 star Magnus is hitting him. <laughs> he can't deal with 3 star Magnus. He can't deal with anything that's strong at the start. He can deal with everything once he levels up with the stealing off damage. This is not good. <laughs> Too many 3 stars. I think I'll probably be rolling deep here on level 9. If I find the troll wallet, it will be better. <laughs> yeah, just when you said it, we get a refresher, right? No, not enough damage. Still have HP, but it's very close at the danger zone. This slider, well, he won't change much even at 3 star. So it may be a mistake to have purchased him. Don't need patch anymore. Oh, 3 star slack. <laughs> I'll buy him. Oh gosh. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> Let's do it. Now, if I lose, it still be worth it. <laughs> It'll be worth it. <laughs> there you go. Double slack, double mask. Uh, why don't you... We remove the tiny and slider, so the tiny enables us to have six warriors. The slider won't give us six warriors though. That's only downside. <laughs> now we have double stack. Oh, look at him go! Right 
<laughs> so when the enemy can't deal with my slacks, well, they can't deal with it. So now I'm going to change my personal team so that the slacks actually get a very solid team that's tanking for them. Something like this. We're spreading out. We're making sure we have tanks on all corners of the field. We're getting the slacks to be kind of jumping around. Maybe better here. Hey there, James Not Bond. Welcome, buddy. Shopping for Medusa? Yes, we're going for the six warriors and four scale build. Slaughter is a warrior, yes, but notice we have two warriors. And if I now show you, if I do this, I lose one of my warriors. So I no longer have six warriors. It's not a different warrior, that's the thing. There's a slaughter there already. Looking for trouble out there. Oh, and there's a starter. Ah, damn, I'm gonna stop here. I want to save a bit of gold if I can. Come on, Trollwallard. <laughs> oh, good, buddy. Yeah, having the Trollwallard will boost up with slack damage as well for attack speed. The final piece at level 10 will be Medusa. But because we lost too much HP, I don't know if I find Medusa though. Oh, the warriors will tank up. Good, the backline isn't open. Take them in the backline. Oh no, the bear! Slug can't deal with bears. <laughs> Are we killing the hundred? Oh, the bear rooted him. One of the slug is gone. We still have one more slug. This one's gonna be Superman. This one's Super Saiyan now. 1000 damage. He can do it. Super Saiyan slug, guys. Look at him go. 2000. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> it's Super Saiyan fish. <laughs> uh, can you explain why they got rid of Ace Effect? I think it was just too much for players. They was making it easy to find the Ace units and just go good stuff all the time. They want you to balance your build. They don't want you to just go for the tier 5s. Ah, uh, Troll Warlord, come on now. Need to find that Troll, guys. Oof. Okay, we're rolling. We roll. I gotta be one more greedy. <laughs> Two Super Saiyan guys, I know. Okay, I, I should have rolled here. But I'm a little greedy. I'm gonna stay on 10 if I can. But if I lose again, I'm rolling everything. I need to find the Troll up first, then we level up. Not the other way around. I also want to find more stacks. Okay, double stack. <laughs> double disarm here. Another disarm. Slack just locks two units down and they get. Like incredible attack speed and damage because of that, it's so good. Look at him go! Double stack, double mask. It's a three star Nyx just annihilated. <laughs> Look at the damage. The six were just mid chills for them. Okay, I need the last unit. Oh, I also need to get the Witch Rock to that because <laughs> Necrophos won't have Warlocks with him, anyways. So Shadow Demon was actually better here. Satanic? Hmm, Satanic's okay. What else is good? Oh, Shivers is also not bad. I'll take the Shivers. I just need my frontline to be tanky. As long as the frontline can tank up, we can just keep going. Oh, oh my. <laughs> President Crumbs works with Venomous SN King Viper. Not sure how to make it functional. I see, I see. It will be an interesting in fact, because the ammo can also poison enemies. Oh, we number one in the moment. Oh my. <laughs> Making work with double stack, double mask. I can't find the Medusa, I can't find the Troll Warlord. I might save up for a level up. I also can't find the Slaughter. I think level up will be the best for us. This is a perfect positioning for us because there's no one to defend his backline and Titan just stuns everything. It's like, give them elevator. Double elevator. Slack is already Super Saiyans now. Goku and the sun, right? Goku and Vegeta. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh my gosh. He's so angry. You can hear the ka-ching ka-ching. Damn. Oh, last player. This might be the end. <laughs> Master Menace is ideal for stack, absolutely. Best in store for them. Better than anything. Gonna row? Yeah, I was gonna save up, but I think it's better if we roll here. 
Oh, oh, oh. No draw. No draw. <laughs> Why now? I'm liking our chances. Okay. <laughs> I'm grouping my tanks, so they're focusing my tanks. It's really important that they focus the tanks. Oh, they have a two stamina Medusa though. Let's see, two of the back lines is disabled by the stack, and stack follows up. Oh, this one's not moving though. This one's stunned. Doesn't look good. They killed both stacks. No. A lot of damage now. Are we? Oh, we still have the incredibly strong starter. One punch man starter here. No, stack that didn't work. Oh my. Not good, not good. No child number design, no. It's a tough one. Uh-huh. Ah, Medusa. I mean, I don't really need the full scout, to be honest. How should I do this? I need a slug to jump differently here, if I can. It's probably gonna stay the same formation. So this time Slug jump into a different position. Oh, they're getting stunned by the Medusa though. It's okay, they didn't go for the Marana this time. Because Marana was actually distracting the Slug. Now the Slug is kind of grouping up to kill the backline. Much safer. All I need is the Slug to win the backline. And there you go, he can't stop us no more. So a small change of position really helped here. Played. <laughs> yeah, I should have replaced the Necro Medusa to make the 4 scaled. It is the 4 scaled and 6 warrior build guys, you can see it, and I didn't expect this many stack. If I didn't have one stack here, I could have the Medusa, and that will give us everything. The last unit will have to be Trollod and also the Witch Doctor. We'll lose Tiny, I'll lose Earth Spirit, I'll lose Tusk, we get everything, and it makes us incredibly stronger with the Warlocks, with Heartless as well, and the Trolls for the attack speed. Excuse me. Let me grab some water and I'll be back and we'll go for one more game. After that, we go for a bit of the viewers game as well. So yes, we made it work. And you can see that this build might not be the strongest in the rank ups. It's a really fun one if you happen to find the two star slug with a mask. And this ensures you have damage for the warriors. The biggest factor to take from here is not that we know we got lucky with items. It's that I adjusted the positioning so we actually tank for the slugs. There's enough units in the front line to distract enemies, so slugs are actually are free to attack for a long time. As long as they don't die, we're unstoppable. 